Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. I'm Bhavita Kapol Chan. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin with news this afternoon from a, the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service. And they're saying to take the necessary steps to safeguard your homes as well as lives from fires. Now, the advice comes from Fire Prevention Officer Jude Rogers, who says it is important for homeowners to have smoke detectors as well as fire extinguishers in their homes and ensure that they know how to use it that we still have too many deaths by fires. Mm. And we're recognizing when we do the investigations, and I'm not going to, to cast any explosion on anyone or to raise any particular case, but most of the homes that we've gone into where deaths have occurred, there is no smoke detector, there is no fire extinguisher. Rogers says this small investment can be the difference between life and death, as he says the window of escape if caught in a house fire is between one and three minutes. A fire extinguisher is a fraction of the cost compared to the cost of a home. So you're looking at between $500, um, depending on the type, all the way up to $1,500, possibly around that range. But when we compare that in terms of a percentage of what our home costs and the replacement value, mm -hmm. you understand that it, is, it makes sense to purchase such an equipment and to, and to know how to use it well. Last week, a woman was seriously injured when a gas cylinder exploded at her home. The decomposing bodies of a man and woman were found by hunters in a forested area in Pinal on Sunday afternoon. Police say the hunters were walking through a forested area about two and a half miles off Mulchan Trace around 5.45 p.m. when they smelled something foul. On searching the area, the hunters found the decomposing bodies and contacted the police. Officers of the Pinal Police Station and the Homicide Region 3 went to the area. While the bodies have not been conclusively identified, two Venezuelan national identification cards were found in a nearby bag. Now to the St. Lucia's Prime Minister, Philip Pierce says he expects this week's CARICOM Canada Summit to further enhance the region's efforts to get the international community to honour their commitments to assisting small island developing states deal with the impact of climate change. Speaking at a news conference ahead of the October 17th to the 19th summit in Ottawa, Pierce said he and his CARICOM colleagues will look to the North American country to put forward their case. With Pierce saying the devastating effects of floods, droughts and earthquakes have already been seen, Canada is committing to assisting in this regard. And with Japan and Trinidad and Tobago marking 60 years of diplomatic relations in 2024, it may be time to modify the relationship to meet the challenges of the modern world. Now, this is according to a Japanese ministry official who spoke to CNC3 News on Monday. The Association for Promotion of International Cooperation's Journalism Fellowship Program gets underway in Tokyo on Monday. APEC is engaged in various development cooperation projects with the aim of promoting and enhancing ties to the international community. The diplomat also stressed the Caribbean can aid in Japan's aging population problem. The visit to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs followed an orientation for this year's APEC Journalism Fellows earlier on Monday afternoon. And Mexican Ambassador Victor Hugo Morales Melendez is one of four ambassadors who participated in a tree planting exercise on Saturday, commemorating Hayarima Day with the First Peoples. He describes the experience as a spiritual one. The event was attended by the ambassadors of Cuba, Venezuela and Chile and hosted by Roger Bielix, president of the Partners for First Peoples Development. Raul Simon, shaman of the Warao community of San Fernando, was always also in attendance. It's uh, as an spiritual experience. It's an strong for uh, Trinidad, but also for Mexico. We are a very, very spiritual people, and then to be here with uh, nature, uh, with the environment in a uh, ceremony uh, in the and, uh, deep spirituality, it's really, really important. Each ambassador planted a tree, the Cuban ambassador planted a poetry, the Chilean ambassador planted chanet, ambassador Melendez planted nutmeg, while the Venezuelan ambassador planted balata and aloes. Doing a show in the connection of the region and the, the trees that the natives would have used and also appreciated, like the puy, it flowers sometimes three to four times a year, indicating the beginning of the rainy season. Right, so that gives you the signal of when the rains will start. The pui, the balata leap year, it will have two seeds on a leap year, 
but really it's supposed to have one seat. Interesting. Well, he's told CNC3 News that the plans chosen were symbols of the relationship between the First People and nature as well as the relationship among the First Peoples that transcend geographical locations. From here, we take a quick break. Sport News up next. Bumper to bumper traffic iron here, and I'll definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So, see, no, no, no. Don't put your wallet. You can pay with Ncash. So, just come straight here. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash, no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for home health health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Combat the stress of today's busy lifestyles. Use Astam and Fort for all-round good health and balance. Astam and Fort contains power nutrients for that extra energy and vitality, eight essential amino acids and vitamins. Use Astam and Fort to boost energy, build stamina and strength, improve performance, relieve tiredness and stress, and improve memory and concentration. Astam and Fort is excellent supportive therapy for diabetes and hypertension. Get it now at leading pharmacies nationwide. Some of us like to test limits, but there won't always be second chances. Obey the speed limits. Maybe you don't value your life, but others value theirs. A message from the TTPS. Welcome back. Tiger Tanks Club Sandu and AC Port of Spain have advanced straight to the semi final stage of the TNT Women's League football following the conclusion of the season at the Police Barracks along Circular Road, St. James, yesterday. In the first half, Chanel Arjun and Aliyah Prince were both looking for a chance to give the Army Coast Guard combination the lead. The second half produced a few close calls for both teams but ended goalless to set up some interesting playoff clashes. Club Sando kept hold of the top spot, ending with 25 points. While Defence Force, who started the match needing a win to move into first spot, stayed third on 22. AC Port of Spain women finished second after a default win over St. Augustine, Kunupir. TNT's Enrique de Comarmon peddled his way to an impressive bronze medal in the under-23 men's elite road race on the second and final day of the Elite Road Caribbean Cycling Championships in Guadeloupe. Competing alongside countryman Tariq Woods in a six-man field, De Comarmon and silver medalist Rafael Latoun both finished in three hours, 39 minutes, that is 8.35 seconds. Now, Bermuda's Nicholas Narwe won gold in three hours, 38 minutes, 0.68 seconds. The duo of De Comarmon and Woods were the only TNT riders to complete the race. Several others abandoned the course due to the intense heat. Well, that's if sport is back to a break. At CVRS and the Trinidad Eye Hospital, we take care of all your family's eye care needs. Get comprehensive eye exams for the entire family and then get referred to our in-house ophthalmologists if needed. We have a wide variety of sunglasses and frames for adults and children, and you can even get contact lenses too. Call us at 620-1025 today. Where do you think you're going? That's me! Come over here! I'm telling you to let that girl go! Are you and what the hell are you doing here? I'm Valentina Villalba, the owner of Los Cascabeles. A woman of steel. Saturdays at 7.30 p.m., Sundays at 8 p.m., Monday and Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Fridays at 8.30 p.m., only on CNC3. 
साल इंतजार करती है इस दिन का पर भाई भी तो होना चाहिए ना लाड करने लायक अरे इस इकलौते भाई ने तो आज तक कभी कोई ऐसा काम ना किया इससे मैंने उसकी कड़ाई पर जी राखी बांधते हुए गर्व महसूस हो गई That's the problem right there. That's why I don't go to the gym. And right there. Don't miss Family Feud. New episodes weekdays from 6:30 p.m. Marathon repeat weekly at 8:30 a.m. Saturdays at 8:45 a.m. and Sunday at 9 a.m. Only on CNC3. Twice in the last 15 years, the livelihoods of vendors who house their goods in the Montego Bay shoes market have been disrupted by major fires. The latest incident yesterday was the worst in the 30 years that many of the more than 200 vendors who operate from the facility have experienced. This is the third major fire coupled with a devastating flood that wreaked havoc in 2017 and break-ins which occur constantly. Deputy Mayor of Montego Bay Richard Vernon, who visited the facility, said he was awaiting the investigation of the fire department. However, he urged the people affected to go ahead and submit their reports to the team. As soon as the investigations are completed. Completed, the St. James Municipal Corporation will meet with all of the people who have been affected by the fire. Thousands are marching peacefully under the watchful eye of local police in support of Israel. We have more for you in this report. It's a river of blue and white passing through the streets of Livingston. Thousands marching peacefully under the watchful eye of local police in support of Israel. Now the priorities are clear. Free the captives, bring the murderers and rapists to justice, and free Gaza and Israel from Hamas once and for all. In the crowd, 89-year-old Mark Shawnwetter, a Holocaust survivor. It's beyond your imagination. to see something and live through what i lived through to see what happens now and this makes me so upset more than two dozen area synagogues and community organizations are represented here people have come from all over the tri-state they may not share the same faith but they do share the same message it's important to us that israel know that You know, even thousands of miles away, they've got support. I think it's fantastic that the community as a whole, Livingston and other communities, have come together with the Jewish community. I think I think that's wonderful, and we've stood with others, and I'm glad they're standing with us. Taking a look at today's weather forecast, Trinidad and Tobago is expected to be mainly hot and sunny. Despite the odd shower, there is also the low chance of the isolated afternoon thunderstorm near western parts of Trinidad. A hot spell alert yellow level is in effect until 4 p.m. Seas are slight with waves just over one meter in open waters, less than half of a meter in sheltered areas. Today's maximum forecast temperature. In Trinidad is 34 degrees Celsius and 33 across in Tobago. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's developments. So far, we'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day. Happy 18th anniversary CNC3 as we continue to cover your world. 